for a drive out in the desert today. It's getting close to lunch time and I thought I'd uh, cook some lunch while I was out there. And rather than uh, battle the 40 to 50 mile an hour winds that we had today on top of it being uh, only 45 degrees, uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to cook. Since I'm driving, I'm going to cook on my manifold. It's really easy to do. I'm going to take this uh, big old healthy burrito, put a little vent in the bag so it doesn't explode, and then basically you're just going to take it and wrap it up nice and tight in some aluminum foil. Put a couple of layers just to make sure. Uh, and what I'm going to do is, once I've gotten that, the next step is I'm going to I know I'm a little uh, anal on this but that's just the way I roll So, I think we can all safely say, that's pretty sealed. And now what I'm going to do is take a little of this dollar store horribly thin wire that's very frustrating to keep rolled up. Uh, and I'm going to wrap that around here, basically just to kind of give me a nice anchor point so that I can then take it out to the Jeep, find a nice place to tie it up on the manifold. Uh, and then it can cook while I'm driving. Pretty nifty, huh? We'll see how it goes. All right, I looked around inside of here. My uh, exhaust manifold is below the intake manifold on this engine. I've got a Jeep Cherokee, old one, straight six. So I think about the hottest spot up here is going to be on top of this nasty uh, valve cover or along this trail rail. Right Here I can use it kind of just to tie it down, make sure it's not going to go anywhere. Do that on both sides here. And then, uh, there, it's nice and snug to the uh, valve cover. Uh, and, uh, you know, let that cook. Go for a drive in the desert, look at the snow up on the mountains, and when we get somewhere nice and remote, we'll stop and see if the burrito's done. I believe that is uh, Frenchman Mountain, or Sunrise, hell I can't remember now. Anyways, you can see though, the uh, snow has mostly melted, but it's cool to see some snow, and there was a lot of rain yesterday, so I'm really curious to see what it's going to be like. Man, is it windy. 50 miles an hour. Maximum gust today. Sustained winds of like 30 or 40. As you can see there's a lot of snow on the mountains north of us.
listen to four wheel load high right now. Yeah, things are a lot different today. I normally come out here long after it's rained the last time. Shortly after a rain. So, this is my first time trying out this trail after a good rainstorm. Man, it's completely different. By that, I mean virtually gone. Whew. Not sure how far I'll be able to go today. I do not want to get myself in trouble and get stuck. I am a sissy. Somebody's already been through here today. <laughs> yes, here we are just outside of Las Vegas. So I'm basically just following their trail, hoping that they didn't screw up and take a long turn. Wow, this trail is different today. It's too bad today. I'm a sissy. I don't want to get stuck out here by myself. Oh no, this is bad. Oh shoot. I think this is going to be a half drive, half hike video today because Big Papa don't want to get stuck in puppy mud. Oh, boy, is it muddy. <laughs> it's so rare. The desert gets rain. As soon as it does, man, you can see my trail. This is pretty soft mud here, but I'm not. I'm not really digging it. Especially knowing that I've got 14 miles. Well, I've gone about a mile and a half. So, at least 12 or 13 more miles of that by myself. Man, eh, I just. <laughs> Again, I'm a sissy. I don't want to have to dig myself out of here. I 
don't have very good cell reception out here. I know, just give me excuses. But now you can see the other direction of the trail. This particular trail, when you can see it and find it, is called the Kodachrome, uh, excuse me, Kodachrome Trail. Uh, today it is just a wash. <laughs> real obstacle on this trail and uh, frankly uh, <laughs> well, it's probably pretty doable keep way up to the left well it looks like whoever did it last kind of went straight down the center <sighs> but they were slipping a little sliding a little I don't know gotta be honest really want to get too far into the muck and mud. I don't think so, man. Whoa, shit. I just slipped in the mud myself. I'm going to try another trail here. I had a friend with me in another vehicle so we could pull each other. One thing, I don't have a winch. That rope's just no. <laughs> uh, And even if I did, there's really nothing to tie onto. So I'd be pretty screwed. Well, part of being a survivor is knowing when, uh, well, I'd leave well enough alone. I could probably make it through that over to the side but it would certainly be slippery and uh, I just don't want to risk it. So instead I'm just gonna spin around and see if I can find some other trail somewhere.
mountains over to the left here. They call that Rainbow Garden because it, uh, you can see that it kind of loop de loops and like swirls like a rainbow. In case you're wondering what that infernal rattling vibrating sound is, <laughs> both of my rear shocks are completely broken off. Well, I've got them out of the way, one of them, the outer casing is rattling. So as soon as it warms up, I'm going to just take it off all the way. In the meantime, it makes a little rattling. today because it's a pretty cold day wanted to just check out some of the uh, water damage out in the desert I'm uh, cooking my lunch under the hood got a burrito wrapped up in aluminum foil laying on the uh, valve cover of my engine and I'm hoping it's getting nice and warm and hot and tasty because driving around out here chickening out in front of the mud all the time. It's getting me, uh, uh, making me pretty hungry. So 
that's one way. Have lunch in the desert when you really don't want to make any effort at all. Put our burrito. Let's keep it in the bag. Put a little hole in there so it steam will come out. Aluminum foil, wire it to a hot spot in your engine. In my case, I did it on the intake manifold, or excuse me, on the valve cover because the exhaust manifold on this thing is below the intake manifold because it's an inline six. So it just didn't work as well. I'm gonna enjoy my lunch. Hmm. I'm going to enjoy my lunch in this what well, looks like a moonscape. I'm outside of Las Vegas, just east of town, towards Lake Mead. Just cooked my lunch. Get that nice. Just cooked my lunch on a. Uh, <laughs> engine while driving around in the desert enjoying this beautiful day the wind's not so brutal over here in this little valley so it's only maybe 20 miles an hour when it whips me uh, but no snow here however if you look that way and that way meaning further east lake mead is right straight dab that way sorry trying to get the camera set up uh, and right there is a snow-covered mountain. On the other side of the lake. Pretty cool. It's a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. It's about 1.30 now. So I'm going to finish my lunch burrito cooked under the uh, hood. So, for lunch.
fun little lunch out in the desert. Pretty wet still. Might come back out tomorrow or the next day. Try it out a little more. Go further out. See if I can find some place cool to go for a hike. Do something a little more interesting. But for a quickie lunch, ride through the desert just to kind of check things out. That was kind of fun.